And now to developing news on the peninsula. We're hearing from neighbors after a deadly shooting in Newport News. Detectives confirm this is the first homicide the city has seen this year. Police got the call just after 2 this afternoon to 55th Street near Huntington Avenue. There, they found an adult man shot dead inside a home. Senator your side's Tamara Scott talked with police after the shooting. And Tamara, what did they have to say to you about what happened? Well, police tell me right now their public is not in any danger, so there's no reason to be alarmed. But they do also tell me that with this being their first homicide of the year, they believe that their efforts in increasing communication with communities is working. I heard two loud bangs. They could have been a hammer, and that's what I thought it was, but it was like a bang and then a couple seconds and another bang. Well, it wasn't a hammer. Instead, it was the sound of gunshots. This resident who lives on 55th Street in Newport News heard. So there's multiple people that live at this residence. Okay. Uh, when they came in, that's when they observed a male inside the residence that was shot. Police say it was just after 2 p.m. They were called to the 300th block of 55th Street. Medics pronounced him dead at the scene. We do currently have a female detained uh, in reference to the incident. Detectives are speaking with her. Uh, they're investigating the, the circumstance of how this incident took place. Police are not releasing the relationship between the two at the moment, but at this time they believe she is important to the investigation. She could have possibly been involved in the incident and detectives are just speaking with her to determine the circumstances of what took place. This is the first homicide of the year in Newport News. It's the middle of March now. This is the first one. We haven't gone a stretch like this since 2016. And while they continue to investigate the circumstances of today's shooting, Maynard believes their efforts will continue to keep people safe overall. A lot of focus on the community and getting out and speaking with everybody. That has helped. That is helping. And we're going to continue to do that because it's, it's pushing us in a positive direction. Well, Officer Maynard says that there is no immediate threat to the public. They are still investigating what happened. And we'll keep you updated on air and online at wavy.com. Tamara Scott, 10 on your side.